Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be finding an infinite sum. We have 1 plus r minus r squared plus r to the third plus r to the fourth minus r to the fifth plus so on and so forth. So this goes on forever and the rule is that every third term is going to have a negative sign. So r squared comes with the negative, r to the fifth, r to the eighth, so on and so forth. So in order to find this sum, we're going to be looking at another sum and that is 1 plus r plus r squared plus r to the third plus r to the fourth so on and so forth where every term is positive and we should know that if r is between negative 1 and 1 and here it is it needs to be if r is between negative 1 and 1 then this sum can be evaluated as 1 over 1 minus r Great. Now, where does this come from? You can write the sum as s. So here's the idea. You can just write it as s and then multiply s by r. So you're going to get something like every term is multiplied by r. So you're going to get r plus r squared dot dot dot. Of course, it, it goes on forever and then it becomes sr. And if you subtract these two, everything cancels out except for one and you get one equals s minus sr and then 1 equals s times the quantity 1 minus r and from here s becomes 1 over 1 minus r. That's the sum we're looking for first. But notice that in order for this to happen r needs to be less than 1 and greater than negative 1 because if r is, imagine if r is greater than 1 you're going to be adding quantities that are greater than 1 and the sum is going to diverge. And same thing pretty much happens for the negative numbers. So we want our number r to be between negative 1 and 1. Now let's see how we can use this sum here, how we can use this sum here to evaluate our expression. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. And one of the challenges that I want to bring to this problem is that I'm going to ask you to write this in a sigma form as well. So I'll talk about sigma a little bit. Let me go ahead and talk about it and then I'll bring up the challenge towards the end. So here's what I mean by sigma. Sigma is a summation symbol as you know. In, instead of writing all these terms like blah blah blah, we can just use the sigma and then use an index like I don't know k, k or n something like that. Let's just use k. k equals 0 to infinity and then what we can do is we can just write this as r to the power k. And what this means is you know you're just gonna change the values of k starting with 0 and then k is going to be 1, k is going to be 2, so on and so forth. So this sum can, can be written as a more compact form. So my challenge for you is, my challenge for you is, let me explain that towards the end, how about that, okay. Well, here's one thing though I want to bring to your attention before I, you know, ask you that question towards the end. So that's going to be what happens if I have something like this, 1 minus r plus r squared minus r cubed plus r to the fourth, minus r to the fifth, so on and so forth. Now, here we the terms alternate, which means that uh, one of them is positive, the other one is negative. And this is just going to repeat forever. So how do I write this? Well, I could just put the k equals 0 to infinity again, and I could just use my r to the power k, but that's only going to give me positive, so I want to be able to change it every time. And for that purpose, I'm going to use a power of negative 1, because as you know, even powers of negative 1 is negative 1, and I said even, so the first power of negative 1 I want positive. For that purpose, I'm just going to use a k here, because what that's going to give me is negative 1 to the power 0 is going to be positive 1. And when k equals 1, it's going to be a negative r, so on and so forth. So I can express this sum using sigma notation, I can express this sum using sigma notation. My question for you is going to be, okay, I'm not going to wait until the end, how about that? Let me just bring it up right now, is can you express the original problem using sigma? Is there a way to do it? And I want you to think about it and please write in the comment section because this is a really interesting problem. So can you modify this sigma thing so that every third term is going to come with a negative, but everything else is going to come with positive signs. Okay, that's my challenge for you today. Let's go ahead and evaluate the sum. So how can we use our geometric series to find what we want? Let's go ahead and take a look at that now. So we have 1 plus r plus r squared plus r cubed 
plus r to the fourth, plus r to the fifth, so on and so forth. Now, here is what I'd like to do. I want my sum to come with negative r squared, negative r to the fifth. So I want these terms to be negative. Let me go ahead and mark those, okay? Let me just go ahead and circle those terms. I want this to be negative. I want this to be negative. Of course, the next one is going to be r to the eighth. And notice that there's a difference of three between their exponents. So that's another mod thing, which I'll talk about in a little bit. So how can I make those minus? Well, they're positive. So if I go ahead and subtract twice these terms, so in other words, what happens if I subtract two r squared from r squared? I get negative r squared. So that's what I want, right? What happens if I subtract negative, or I should say subtract negative. What if I subtract two r to the fifth from here, then I get negative. So this is basically gonna give me what I want. Of course, next term is gonna be minus two r to the eighth, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and put this in a nicer form. So I have my sum, which is one plus r plus r squared. I don't have to write all the terms, you get the idea. And then from here, I want to subtract. And of course, I can put everything in parentheses so that, you know, everything inside the parentheses is going to be positive. So everything will be negated. In other words, so it goes on like this. Well, this is basically what my sum is about, right? R squared minus 2R squared is negative R squared. You can kind of check it out for yourself too. Now, I know the first part because we know that this is our famous or infamous geometric series and it's equal to 1 over 1 minus R. Great. How about the second part? Well, the second part is not that obvious, but I can work it out. How? Well, I can just kind of factor out something here. For example, we can pull out 2r squared, and then it gives us 1 plus r cubed plus r to the sixth, so on and so forth. Great. Now, what is this? Well, it's kind of like geometric, but in an r cubed way, right? Makes sense? So what, what is that supposed to mean? Well, it just means that I can write this as one plus r cubed, where r cubed is like x, and then r cubed squared, where it's x squared, x to the third, so on and so forth. So it is geometric, but the common ratio is not r, it is r cubed. Make sense? Hopefully. All right, so I'm gonna write this uh, as then one over one minus r minus two r squared, which is my coefficient here multiply by, now since the sum is one over one minus r, just replace r with r cubed and you're gonna get the answer. And that is going to be one over one minus r cubed. Great, let's go ahead and put this all together and we'll simplify. So I'm going to make a common denominator here. So let me go ahead and write it this way. And then now the common denominator is one minus r cubed. Okay, it's difference of two cubes, remember? It can be factored as one minus r times one plus r plus r squared. So this one needs to be multiplied by one plus r plus r squared. Of course, one is gonna be multiplied by that and then subtract two r squared from it. Let's go ahead and do it. So I'm making a common denominator. This is basic arithmetic, right? Or if you want, want to call it algebra, that's fine too. So I subtract the numerators and divide it by the common denominator, which is one minus r cubed. Great, let's go ahead and simplify this. r squared minus two r squared is going to be negative r squared, so my sum which was written as one plus r minus r squared plus r cubed plus r to the fourth minus r to the fifth plus dot 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 can be written as one plus r minus r squared divided by one minus r cubed. And that's going to be the answer. And of course, we want r to be between negative one and one so that this sum converges. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Write in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.